Welcome back to Pray TV. Thank you for joining us again. The Lord has something every day for us to be able to glean from his word and to be able to take into our souls as really building blocks upon which we are then able to stand strong and firm in Christ. Today we're going to look at a verse of scripture from Psalm 112 verse 7. And I'm going to be reading it from the Amplified Version of the Bible. It says, He will not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast trusting, confidently relying on and believing in the Lord. You know, God has the ability to put into us that kind of a sense of confidence, that kind of a, of a sense of resolve. And when we are walking before him with clean hands and a pure heart, according to the word of God, we are able to move into a confidence and into a strength. Now, I can tell you firsthandedly that there was a season and a time in my life for sure where I was really not walking the way that I should have been. And my life felt deeply vexed and troubled, even though I was trying to do what was right, but I was failing to follow the Lord in the ways that he had prescribed very clearly in his commands. And what the resulting impact of that is, is anxiety and is fear and, and, and fretfulness and all of those kinds of dynamics that just take root in the soul. But when we become settled and we have obeyed him and we've walked and built a pattern of obedience, then what happens is there is a deep working of an inner sense of confidence. And that's what God wants to invite you and I to live in and to move in and to be able to have and to walk in. So today we're going to pray into this scripture. I'm going to return and we're going to read this entire verse of scripture one more time, but I invite you to take a look at, after this program is over, the entire chapter of Psalm 112. But this is verse 7. He will not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting, confidently relying on and believing in the Lord. Father, we're just so thankful that we have this ability to be able to just lift our attention and our focus on you. We're so grateful, Lord, that we have this ability to rely on you and to move in confidence because we are obeying you. And Lord, I pray that if there are people who are watching this program with me that are struggling in any area, that at this very moment, that can be laid at your feet, Lord. Confession of sin can be made. A turning from all wicked ways can happen. And Lord, you begin to bring order. You begin to bring symmetry. And so anything that happens in life does not come across as bad news. Anything that happens in life is under your permission. And Lord, we thank you and we receive it, even if it's testing, even if it's trials, even if it's burdens. Lord, we know that those are just intruders, but you are permitting them for our refinement, for our focusing, for our ability to be able to walk before you. Clean hands, pure heart, not lifting up our soul unto vanity, nor swearing deceitfully. Lord, we have that kind of posture before you. Lord, so we say it with gratitude, with deep, heartfelt gratitude. I am wanting you to have this assurance in your heart. No matter what has gone on, no matter what has happened in your life, today you can make that decision. Today you can stand in righteousness, not self-righteousness, not righteousness that is anything to do with this flesh, but the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus that is the impartation of his grace 
to your soul. Enter into that and then launch into a life lived in quiet confidence, believing Him, following Him, submitting to Him. God bless you.